A Texas mother is arrested for posing as her 13-year-old daughter and attending classes all the day to prove the lapses in the middle school security. 30-year-old Cassie Gracia said she did it as a social experiment to prove laxity at the school. Garcia filmed herself walking through the school, remarking that nobody noticed that she was not her daughter. It wasn't until the final period that a teacher noticed and confronted her. Garcia later recorded a video explaining why she did it. Charges against Garcia include criminal trespassing, tampering with government records, and an unrelated traffic violation, according to El Paso County Jail Records, after a video of her sneaking into her daughter's middle school went viral. In the video, Garcia can be seen walking into the building, which was later identified as the Garcia Enrique Middle School, according to various media reports. Do I look like a seventh grader? She asked before stepping inside. No? Cool. Awesome. Talk to you guys once I'm inside. Do I look like a, a seventh grader? No? Cool. Awesome. Garcia then appears to say hello to what she says was the principal of the building and proceeds to walk around the school without teachers noticing. One can even be heard giving her instruction to find a classroom. Finding yourself? Wow. Hello. Morning. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not see you behind me. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I am going to get so caught and actually really scared now. I am literally on the campgrounds of a middle school. They're kind of like, am I going the right way? Yeah. Okay. And just so you know, right here, this building is a library. Okay. This building is... Oh my goodness. I would have never found my way. <laughs> this is a other 500. Okay. Oh. Okay, thank you so much. With all the music, that's what they told me. Thank you so much. In second period, Garcia shows the camera a math assignment and the teacher can be heard calling her by her daughter's name, Julie. She can then be seen attending physical education class. By lunchtime, she takes off her face mask to eat. I've been here all day, face to face with teachers, she said in disbelief. But a 30-year-old disguising as a 13-year-old and made it through lunch? I've been here all day, face to face with teachers. My eyebrows are really stupid, too. I've made it more than half a day. No, half a day. Well, more because I only have four classes left. This is considered fifth. Right? Yep. This piece is disgusting. It wasn't until the final period of the day, she said, that a teacher noticed that Garcia was not who she said she was and confronted her. Well, I finally got caught. I told him that I would go to the principal's office, so I guess we're going to see what happens. In a follow-up video, 30-year-old Garcia explains her action. It was a social experiment, Garcia said, as she describes wearing fake tanner and dyeing her hair a darker color to better resemble her daughter's, and she said, she memorized her daughter's ID number to gain access to the building. The teachers were so preoccupied about the student who were online that they weren't paying attention to the students who were there physically, Garcia said. I was nervous the entire time. Whether you believe that or not, that's on you. Um, I walked in, they asked me for my ID, number. They asked me for my ID number and I gave it to them. I wrote it down. Julie had told me and I memorized it. I wrote down my ID number and my name and they said, did you sign in? And I said, yes, I signed in. And they said, okay. They let me walk right on through. I then said hello to the principal and then I spoke to another faculty member and then I went to all my classes. I even ate lunch without a mask. So concerned that my phone was out 
that they weren't even paying attention to who I was or what I was, well, I, besides, you know, what I was doing, but it, they never interacted with me. It was, it was always, hey, put your phone away. Hey, put your phone away. I wasn't even a person. I was just, hey, put your phone away. I didn't do this to ruffle any feathers. I didn't do this to out the school because I was never going to say what school district or what school it was. The teachers were so preoccupied with the students that were online that they weren't paying attention to the students that were there physically. It wasn't hard and I made it to all seven periods until the last teacher, she was female, and she said, Julie, can you stay after class? And I said, absolutely. And she looked at me and she's like, you're not Julie. I was like, no, I'm not. I took off my mask, I took off my glasses, and I said, no, I'm not Julie, I'm, I'm Julie's mom. And she said, why? I think she was really mind boggled. Like she had no idea what the hell just happened. And I said, for a social experiment, I wanted to see if I could make it the entire day without anybody noticing. And I'd say up until seventh period, I think that's a very long day for a 30 year old. We need better security at our schools. This is what I tried to prove. There have been one too many masks. I think that we need metal detectors. I don't think that, I don't think that backpacks are a good idea. Um, are you more concerned that I, a parent, was sitting next to your child or do we really wanna wait for the next person taking their second amendment right to the extreme? My baby's awake. I didn't do this for any other reason but to prove a point. I'm sorry that it had to be that specific school district. I am very sorry. They're all wonderful people. The principal's the nicest person I've ever met and I'm sorry that it had to be you. We have a problem. There have been one too many mass shootings in schools, elementary schools, colleges, high schools. That is disgusting to think of that this could have been prevented just by putting metal detectors and more security. We all pay taxes. I think we can do this. I expose the dangers of our schools and I'm trying to protect my children and yours. If you wanna come at me for that, there's really nothing else I can say. Daily Mail reported that the El Paso County Sheriff's Office said school officials first notified of the incident June 1st. San Elizario School Superintendent Jeannie Meza Savez acknowledged what happened. While there was a breach in security by an individual associated as a parent with a school, we want to assure you that our security measures are being reviewed and evaluated, she told KTSM. We're here because um, we're going to place on the arrest Okay. Um, you do have a traffic warrant with us? A traffic warrant? Yes, ma'am. We're going to be special alert for traffic warrant. Okay. So, um, that's it? Excuse me? That, that's the only thing? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Um, my, my suegra is coming. Okay. I am not resisting. No, 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 no. I am here. My baby's inside no, asleep. No, 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 no. Okay. I am not resisting arrest. After Garcia was released from jail on $7,800 bond, Garcia told media her intention was to keep the name of the school out of the story. Her motivation, she said, was grounded in exploring safety. This is about our children and the safety of our children, she said. That's all I'm trying to do is prevent another mass shooting. I spent a day in police custody, but my question still remains. Are our children safe in our schools? What do you have to say about Garcia's actions? Do write in the comment box. Thanks for watching Top News. Please subscribe. I guess see you in the next viral video.